Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out the 12 Days of Christmas here at the Film Geek. Today I'm talking about the 1983 film Trading Places. We want to help you, Mr. Valentine. My brother and I run a privately funded program to rehabilitate culturally disadvantaged people. We'd like to supply you with a home of your own, a car, a generous bank account, and employment with our company. We're going to start you at $80,000 a year. $80,000. Mm. Excuse me. This is a practical joke, right, Brian? Trading Place is directed by John Landis, starring Eddie Murphy, Dan Aykroyd, and Jamie Lee Curtis. Trading Places is the story of a Wall Street investor and a local street con whose lives are reversed. Kind of a Prince and the Popper thing. All because two rich brothers make a bet. The film was originally conceived as a vehicle for Richard Breyer and Gene Wilder. But Richard Pryor backed out at the last moment and they brought Eddie Murphy in. Eddie Murphy then tried to get Gene Wilder replaced because he didn't want to be seen as just a replacement for Pryor. So what do I like about this movie? Well, as I said, this is a different kind of take on the Prince and Popper story. And I always like it when you take a humdrum old story and you update it a little bit more to make it a little bit more relevant for people watching it in a modern society. I enjoy this. I like that kind of stuff. And this movie does a great job of it. The story's good. The characters are great. The actors acting is solid. This is a great movie. You're going to enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. It's a very different kind of Christmas story. All of this happens during the course of Christmas and a little bit into New Year's. As I said, the acting is great in this movie. Eddie Murphy and Dan Aykroyd, the chemistry between the two of them is just great. The two of them are just hilarious together. Two great comedians just going back and forth. It's just a great time to watch. One of the things that's really nice about this movie is you take two completely dislikable characters and turn them into very likable characters and start to identify with them. You shouldn't be able to identify with somebody as rich and powerful as Dan Aykroyd's character, but you really do once he's down in the dirt. You also start to identify with the strange world that Eddie Murphy gets thrust into when he gets pulled into the Wall Street thing. And you get to see where the corruption doesn't take to Eddie Murphy's character, which surprises you a bit because you think, being a street con man, he's going to be corrupted by all the wealth and fame. One last thing I'd like to say before I take off today is the cameos in this movie are really great. I mean, for instance, here's a former U.S. Senator and a monkey. So if you're looking for a good time, a good, more adult-oriented alternate Christmas story, then I highly recommend Trading Places. Alright guys, thanks again for checking out the Film Geek. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and as I always say folks, keep watching movies, you know I'm gonna.